Hi, welcome to Math as a Language. Uh, in this video, we're going to continue our look at uh, special pairs of angles. Uh, in the last video, we discussed uh, supplementary pairs, um, and we're going to pick up at that point and continue on. Special pairs of angles. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Again, we uh, started with the supplementary pairs. Uh, we had a line with a ray emanating from that line, a uh, common ray, as we said before. And we have angles one and angle two, which are next to each other. And we recognize that the fact that these guys are a linear pair and they're supplementary, meaning that if we were to sum their measures, the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two would be 180 degrees, 180. Again, they're supplementary and a linear pair. All right. Now, one thing we should note about supplementary angles, though, again, when the supplementary angles, the sum of the measures are 180, and that's the, that's the important thing that makes them supplementary. That's the nature of supplementary, is that we have two angles, the sum of whose measure is uh, 180. So whether the angles are adjacent next to each other or not, does not necessary. It's not necessary uh, for them to be supplementary. So the fact that these two m angles are adjacent is not necessary to their being uh, supplementary. Those are two different uh, concepts in, in geometry. Uh, so they they can be next to each other, a linear pair, or they may not. That is to say, if we were to given two angles here, and I tell you that one angle here uh, measures 100 degrees and we have a second angle there somewhere else it could be anywhere else on the other side of the of the uh of the board here uh and that one measures 80 degrees uh the fact that the sum of these measures the 100 plus the 80 is 180 that in and of itself would make them supplementary so these two angles are still supplementary because again the total is 180 degrees for the sum of their measure. All right, all right. Let's take a look at uh, another, uh, some more linear pairs, and uh, the ones that we're going to look at today have to do with two lines. If we have two lines, a line L here, perhaps, and another line M. All right. So these two lines are intersect, and you'll notice now that there's a point of intersection. We'll call that point P. We'll make it nice and big so we can see it. So we have a point. P at the point of intersection, and line L and M intersect at point P. And I would hope that you would see, I think we all can recognize that immediately with these points of intersection, that four angles have been formed, okay, at that point of intersection. And these angles are, let's put it here, we have angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4. So lines L and M intersect at point P and 4 angles are formed at that point of intersection. Now, one of the things we want to recognize, or just say right now, in terms of linear pairs of pairs of angles, we know that angle 1 and 2, if we were to highlight a line L and make it in the blue perhaps, and we see line L here, as we did in earlier videos, obviously angles 1 and 2 are supplementary, they're next to each other, but similarly, if, you, if we want to go with this one, if we go to line L, line M, I should say, we should say, uh, line M, we can take a look at angles 2 and 3. They, too, also make up a linear pair. All right. So after all said and done, let's go ahead and just list them all. We can recognize that there will be four sets of linear pairs here, four sets of supplementary angles. So let's just go ahead and title them and let's list them all. So there's going to be four sets four sets of supplementary angles. Alright, let's four sets of supplementary angles. And what are those four sets? We'll go ahead and list them all here at this point. And we'll leave that so we can see them. We're going to say that uh, angle 1 and angle 2, so angle 1 and angle 2 would be one set angle 2 and angle 3 so we can uh, follow along uh, with the uh, colors here and let's go with the uh, what happened we use here let's go with the yellow so we can have angle 3 and angle 4 angles 3 and 4 so angles with angles 3 and angle 4 and finally let's go with these two guys here 
and that would be angles 1 and angle 4. So angle 1 and angle 4 are also supplementary. All right. So this, these are the four sets of supplementary pairs of angles. And again, the sum of their measures are all 180. That's what it means to be supplementary. Uh, let's see. Now let's do one of the sets of pairs having to do with ver uh, intersecting lines. And then we'll stop at this point. Another set of pairs of angles. We have intersecting lines. Lines R and lines S intersect. <clears throat> and again, we'll go ahead and number these angles so that we can keep track of them. Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4 this time. Now, here's the thing. We know that these guys, uh, let's talk about the angles that are across from each other. All right, let's see. Let's talk about angles 1 and angle 3. These two angles that are across from each other, those guys are referred to as vertical angles. Okay, And they must be formed by two intersecting lines. If two lines intersect, the angles that are across from each other, they have to share a common vertex. And that, that those two angles are verticals. So angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles. And I think we can see quite well clearly that angles 2 and angles 4, these two guys, are also vertical angles. So we have angles 2 and angles 4 are vertical. And then one last thing uh, we, as we develop our uh, geometry, notice that we made these arcs the same and that's not, not by accident. The fact that the we notice that we have the one arc here or the one uh, line here for the arc F for angle one and one segment, one line here for the one curve here for the arc for angle three. The reason why we do that is because these two angles, angles one and, two and three, those have the same measure. All right, They are congruent or equal angles depending on whether you're talking about the angles or the measure. So let's just go ahead and talk about their measures and we'll just say that they're equals. Uh, so, um, so angle one and angle three have the same measure. They have the equal value, whatever the value of this angle is. Let's see, let's just make this up. If this was a 30 degree angle, then this angle here would also be 30 degrees. All right, because it would have the same measure. Now, there's a few things, nice mathematics going on here because again, notice, note too that angles two and three, they are part of the linear pair that made up angle S. And therefore, two and three also have a relationship. They are supplementary. Therefore, uh, we know that this is 30, so angle 2 would have to make up the rest of that to make up the 180, so that would be 150 degrees. And having said that, the reason why we have these two uh, segments here for the uh, two arcs uh, for angles 2 and 4 is, again, as you, you guessed it, these two angles are also congruent. So the measure of angle 2 and 4 are congruent, so this one's 150 angle 4 must also be 150, 150 degrees. All right. Yeah, a lot of interesting mathematics, uh, special pairs of angles is a, is a major topic in the geometry or a fun topic in the geometry. And we don't want to go too far with it. We're going to develop it closely uh, or, or slowly and, and deliberately. So over the next few videos, but again, we're going to continue to look at our special pairs, special pairs of angles, our supplementary angles, are and whether they're next to each other or not and uh, our lines that are formed angles that are formed by intersecting uh, inter intersecting lines which gives us four sets of supplementary angles and finally uh, we have these guys the ones that are not supplementary the angles that are across from each other one and three two and four those guys are referred to as vertical angles so we should actually go ahead and put that here so these angles that we've listed here are our vertical angles vertical angles and as our symbol for angles. All right. So uh, that's it for now. Interesting stuff. We'll continue on with our special pairs of angles in future videos and we look forward to seeing you at that time. Take care now.